their most faithful disciples were the two cart horses, Boxer and Clover. Those two had great difficulty in thinking anything out for themselves. But once, but having once accepted the pigs as their teachers, they absorbed everything that they were told and passed it on to the other animals. By simple arguments, they were unfailingly in their attendance at the Sikh meetings in the barn and led the singing of the Beast of England, with which the, en- the meetings always ended. Now, as it turned out, the rebellion was achieved much earlier and more easily than anyone had expected. In the past years, Mr. Jones, although a hard master, had been, ca- had been a capable farmer, but of late he had fallen on evil days. He had become much disheartened after losing money in a lawsuit, and had taken drinking more than he more than was good for him. For whole days a time he even lounged in his windsor chair in the kitchen, reading newspapers, drinking, and occasionally feeding Moses on a crust of bread. Soaked in beer. His men were ideal and dishonest. The fields were full of weeds. The buildings wanted roofing. The hedges were neglected and the animals were undurfed. June came and the hay was almost ready for cutting. On Midsummer's Eve, which was a Saturday, Mr. Jones went to the hall. He got so drunk at the red one red lion, that he did not come back to the day. The men had milked the cows in the early morning and had gone out rabbiting with, out bothering to feed the animals. When Mr. Jones got back, he immediately went to sleep. On a dropping room sofa with the news of the world over his face, so that when evening came, the animals were still unfed. At last, they could stand it no longer. One of the cows broke in the door of the store shed with her horn, and all the animals began to help themselves from the bin. It was just then that Mr. Jones woke up. The next moment, he and his four men were in the store shed with whips their hands flashing out in the direction. This was in the war court, nothing had been kind to Beforehand, they flung themselves upon their own tormentors, Joel and Senator had suddenly found themselves buried and kicked from all sides. The situation was caught out of their control. Writing at creatures whom they were used to thrashing and maltreating, just as they chose, frightened them almost out of their wits. After only a moment or two, they gave up trying to defend themselves, took up their heels. A minute later, all five of them were in full flight down the cart track that led to the main road the animals pursuing them in triumph. Miss Jones looked out of the bedroom window, saw what was happening, hurriedly flung a few possessions into a carpet bag, put it out the King Lowley. Meanwhile, the animals chased Jones and his men out to the road and slammed the barred gate behind them. And so, almost before they knew it, by a little happy one, one happy to catch his John was excited. For the first few minutes, the animals could hardly believe it. The first act was to gallop and... Bye. Bye.
Okay. Great. Okay. 